Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Raj. Today I bought a wall mount power outlet at Costco for $20. Uh, so first let's open that box and then I will show you how I change it. As you can see there are two in here really good price for both $20 the main reason why I'm upgrading mine because this one comes with regular adapter and then USB and then USB-C so you can charge any of your phones uh, without any adapter or with the adapter all right now let me show you how I'm going to change it the very first thing the safety is very important so I'm going to be testing with the tester and then I see the power is there I'm going to plug the table lamp and leave it there and now I'm going to the basement uh, to the main power switch to turn off the main power. Now the power is off. Before you change this, please make sure your safety is the number one priority. So turn off the power. Now I'm ready to take out all the screws. This is a very basic standard power outlet installed by the builder. A little bit tricky way to take this uh, wires out. So I'll show you in a minute. As you can see, the ground is on the side and then two whites and two blacks are pushed in at the back. To take the wire out, all you have to do, you have to just pull it. But sometimes it's a little bit hard uh, depending on how old it is. So you have to move around left right up down and then pull it sometimes it may break but don't worry because we are not reusing that so just pull it it will come out and for the ground you just need to loosen the screw and then it will come out Let me show you the back side of this one. Uh, there are three screws, one for the ground and one for the white and one for the black. Two holes on both sides, so two whites on one side and two blacks on the other sides. To plug the wire back, you just loosen the screws a bit and you push those wires inside and while you're holding it tight, uh, you tight the screws and that's it.
all right now everything is done make sure there's no loose connection everything has to be very firm and tight now once you make sure everything is tight slowly you push everything inside when i was pushing it in i realized the box that i already had is smaller than the one i bought it but uh, too late now because um, i already bought it and then i need, really need to change it i'm not going to change the base because it's going to be too much work i'm sure i can manage to push it in but uh, don't push too hard because you don't want to damage anything at the back now i'm going to put the screws back Make sure it's firm and tight. Now the last step, put the case back. Now let's test it. There's no power because I didn't turn on the power. So let's go to the basement and turn on the power. And now I see the power. Let's plug in the table lamp and test it. Excellent, it's working now. Uh, let's make sure both of them are working. So I'm testing the other one. The other one also working. Now let's test the USB. Excellent, it's working. Finally, let's test the USB-C. My phone is charging. Excellent. 